Hey guys, welcome back to How to Build Your Own Cyber Lab at Home with Kyle Slozik. And in this lecture, we're going to talk about the equipment needs if you decide you want to build a physical lab. And, um, you know, so physical labs are great, right? They're easy to set up. Um, you know, things you need to think about are you're going to need to have some, some workstations. Maybe that's, you know, a bunch of old desktops you've got or some laptops or maybe you've got even servers. Um, what I've put here, and I, and I think, this is great. You know, old computers, they, they work for a physical lab setup. Um, you know, if you're anything like me, you've probably got a bunch of, you know, old laptops or a bunch of old desktops lying around. Go ahead and repurpose those. Um, pull them down, dust them off, um, you know, see if they, the equipment still works and install some operating systems on the, uh, on the machines. Um, they're great because you don't need, unlike uh, virtual, right, where you're sharing the resources, you may not necessarily need to have such a beefy machine to run a single operating system. If you're going to be running some Linux instances, they don't really need a whole lot of resources. They don't need a very fast processor, a lot of memory, a big hard drive space. Um, so you can run several things, you know, as long as you have a couple of different old pieces of hardware. One thing you're going to need for a physical lab that you don't need for a virtual lab is some networking um, equipment. Now you can go out and buy a couple of cheap switches or you can get a you know, Soho router um, and those are great and you need, but you need to be able to remember that, you know, do the machines that you have have wireless or do you gonna need to uh, get a bunch of Cat5 cable, cabling? Or you know, do the systems even have network cards? Are you gonna need to go out and buy network cards? Um, so those are you know, all things to think about when you're planning out that physical lab. And so the last thing I have in this lecture is I want to talk about internet isolation. I want to spend a couple of minutes on this because I think it's really important. Um, if you're going to be building this lab to do any type of cyber testing, and that could be you know, using malicious software, using hacking software for you know, learning, or you know, maybe you're looking at samples of malware. You've got to think about, do you want that connected to the internet? Do you want those machines to have internet connectivity? Um, you know, malware tends to beacon back out to the internet, um, and, you know, it's monitored on several levels. So, you know, maybe you want to just have it completely isolated from the, net, the network and have it be its own LAN. Well, if that's the case, then you're going to need some server services. You know, you're probably going to need some sort of DNS or DHCP, some sort of... Uh, you know, networking services that are normally prevalent on a, uh, a you know, internet-connected network. The other thing that we want to talk about is, pro is um, you know, network isolation. Now, say you have decided you wanted to have network access, or, and I'm sorry, internet access. I think that's great, you know, that's uh, smart, but think about, do you want your lab connected to the same network that your home machines are on? Um, you know, do you want to be looking at samples of malware on the same network that you have your machines that you connect to your bank and check your bank account balance or your, do your taxes on? Um, so you probably want to have some sort of network isolation within this lab setup. And that can be done in a couple of ways. You can buy a border router, some sort of so, small office, home office, um, you know, router, and then you basically uh, set off two networks off of that. And those could be two different routers, one for your uh, lab and one for your home network. Um, and a lot of times these new routers have the ability to do that type of network isolation. You may only need to buy one if you've got an advanced router that will do network isolation. It'll broadcast two SSIDs for two different networks. Uh, you can VLAN out the ports on the physical uh, machine and then have switches going into those ports and say this is my uh, lab network and here's the, the home network. So think about how you want to set that up and um, before you actually start building this lab. So that's it for equipment needs for physical labs. Uh, we'll see you in the next lecture.